How's it going everyone? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. I'm Jesse and this is Still It. Today we've got a short video in the New Distillers 101 series and today we're talking about the initial learning curve, the struggle to get into this hobby due to the amount of information you've got to learn first. Alright team, so here's the deal. This hobby is tough to get into man. It really is tough. There is a lot to learn uh, when you first start if you're reading posts or information, uh, probably even most of the words being thrown around, you won't even know what they mean. So how on earth are you supposed to understand what people are talking about if you don't understand the words they're using? If you get past that, then there is a whole host of concepts that everyone is going to tell you you need to understand before you fire your still up for the first time. Now, all of this is true, guys. It really is. It really is a tricky hobby to get into. The learning curve is intense. It's real. But I've got a few tips based on the main mistakes that people make to help you break through that first level and uh, get started on your home distilling journey. Yeah, I was really trying to not say journey in this video. I guess we've done it. Anyway, here we go team. Number one, the biggest mistake that people make is that they give up. I get it, I understand it. People get into hobbies for fun. If they're not having fun, they walk away. To be honest, this hobby really is about learning and continuous learning and continuous improvement. It's just not for everyone. So if that's not what you're into, that's cool, walk away and find something else. But if it is what you're into guys, if you like that sense of achievement, the sense of developing a mastery, the sense of learning something new and being able to develop a skill set, this really is the hobby for you guys. Like I said, the learning curve is steep when you get started, but if you can make it past that first learning curve, if you can get two runs under your belt, you're going to be well on your way to becoming a home distiller and getting to the point where it's about fun, it's about continuous education, but that's a good thing, it's exciting because you've got a base knowledge uh, and then you can start getting into the experimentation and sort of exploring things the way you want to do them as well. So that is just around the corner guys, keep your spirits up, keep going, keep reading, keep learning, keep watching videos, you're almost there, I promise you. Number two is that people try to run before they walk in some sense, they try to understand all the concepts before they even know the words that people are using. So my suggestion for number two is to really go after the vocabulary, to go after the words that people use to describe things, the industry terms, all of those sort of things. And uh, honestly, sometimes the best way to do it is just to start reading posts until you get to a word that you don't understand and Google the crap out of that word. Until you get a solid answer, keep on going. There are a few glossaries out there team, uh, I've stumbled across them but I don't have one off the top of my head. If someone else has got a link to one, uh, drop it in the comments down below, that'll be awesome. But I will try and put my own together and get it put up somewhere for you as well guys, I'll let you know when that happens. The number three mistake that I see people making is that they pick one source of information and they take that verbatim. Whatever that says, they do it. Uh, and while in some ways I guess that does uh, you know get you from A to B quicker, it is one of those hobbies that you're going to find that there are varying ideas, uh, there's debates about certain things, the information isn't allowed to flow entirely easy because of the state of affairs in different parts of the world with legalization and so on and so forth. Uh, so I would really really suggest guys that you pick at least at least three different places to get your information from and cross-reference ask educated questions, get educated answers, and keep on building your knowledge. So, seeing as uh, I've said that you need at least three sources of information, I'm going to recommend three to you. One, obviously keep on watching this channel guys, that's what I'm here for. Uh, if there's something that you would like to know, flick a comment down on one of the videos below and I'll do my best to get around to it at some point in time. I'll see what I can do. Number two is the Home Distiller Forum. Now, this place can get a little salty sometimes, but it's really not, guys. It's just a facade. The guys there really do want to help you improve. They want to help improve the hobby overall. So just realize, guys, that stuff's not personal. Keep on going. Uh, do, your, do your research first, and you're going to be fine there. It is a huge wealth of information. And number three. Number three, because I'm a Reddit guy, the Firewater subreddit. Check it out, guys. It's absolutely awesome. There's a couple of people there that have an insane amount of knowledge around this hobby, and they are more than happy to help you. They've also got some links for some other great resources there, too. The next problem that I see happening over and over again is people get too zealous. They jump in with a question on a forum, on a video, on a subreddit, uh, and they ask a question that's been asked a million times before. Now... This does two things. One, when someone gets a snarky reply, it discourages the crap out of them. <laughs> at least like to go back to that place for more information. But number two, it kind of, 
it, it can test the patience of the guys that are answering those questions day in and day out. So, a tip for the new guys and a tip for the, uh, the, the pros, the people that are around here. If you're new, guys, uh, we understand that it's hard to grasp these concepts. So when you ask a question, make sure that you've done a search beforehand. Search it on Google, search it on the forum search bar, uh, whatever it is. And I'm, I'm not saying that you need to show off, but at least just show that you've done some homework when you ask a question. Say that you're confused about something. Say that you've read a certain thing and you don't understand it. Uh, reference one thing versus another thing if you are finding indiscrepancies, those sorts of things. For the people that have been around forever, just try to remember what it was like when you and you guys. I know it can get hard sometimes, uh, but the only reason that this hobby is moving forward is because there's people just like you out there answering questions for other people. So keep it up, keep it up. Uh, keep on helping the new guys out. Uh, trust me, trust me, when you're new, you thoroughly appreciate it. And I know you know that. <laughs> and the last mistake I see people making when they're new to distilling is that they, they jump from one thing to another. So for example, I had a guy contact me a little while ago that was asking me questions. Uh, he got himself a little bit confused. He was doing a damn good job of doing his own research. But basically what happened is he started off thinking that he wanted to make vodka and he'd done a whole lot of learning around that. And then later on, he decided he wanted to make whiskey and he was getting really confused about the difference between reflux and pot stills and how you know how they operate the differences in equipment and so on and so forth so i'm not saying you need to pick one thing and do it for the rest of your life what i am saying though is pick something that you love pick something that you want to make pick something that you're excited about and then get excited about making that thing because if you can focus on one pathway from a to b it's going to make your life a whole lot easier i promise you all right guys that's it i'm trying to keep these videos nice and quick short to the point so they're really helpful without all the other waffle that this channel has a lot of the time, let's be honest, the channel has a lot of that sometimes. But if you're a new distiller and this sort of information is helping you, make sure to give it a thumbs up in the comments down below. Share the video with anyone else that you think might like it. And if you're really, really finding value in the Stillet channel, have a think about buying some merch in the link down below or check out my Patreon page and see what that's all about. Speaking of which, a huge thanks to all of the existing Patreons. Guys, you know it, I know it, I couldn't be doing this without you uh, right now. As you're watching this video, I'm actually in America doing my thing over there as well. And the only reason I'm there is because of you guys. So thank you. Thank you very much. All right, team. This has been a blast. I will catch you next time. Keep on chasing the craft. See ya.